What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and welcome to another setup makeover. So today we're looking at a setup that came from a room that had quite a bit of stuff around it, the guest bed and, and everything, and we kind of cleared it out and made it a dedicated office space, gave it a fresh coat of paint, new desk, and with the fundamental pieces of tech, we also added a few here and there, improved the monitor and everything. And at the end of the day, I think it is a great photographer slash creative setup. If you guys would like to win an item from this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below and if you guys want to have post notifications on I did mention I was gonna try to do many more setup makeover episodes this year and also follow me over on Instagram as that is where I post a lot of behind the scenes so the design of this one does draw inspiration from my very first setup makeover of 2020 with kind of the dark theme setup and we brought some of the areas and inverted it but it is also very much inspired by Matthew and Cena's setup which I think looks amazing you might also notice for the first setup makeover, there is some stuff on the wall. In the past ones, it was completely blank, aside from maybe some LEDs and stuff. You even got like the Formula One Monaco thing in the background. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get Linus to talk about his setup as it was before. So the desk before definitely had the fundamentals and usually when we do these setup makeovers we're not going to completely just buy everything. We want to have a few basic pieces there but it definitely wasn't the prettiest setup. It was very messy and a little bit disorganized and my job is to come in and kind of redesign the room and give it new life. From the bed that wasn't being used to the shelf in the back that was just carrying a lot of other stuff that could go in a set of drawers, it was a good opportunity for Linus to empty the room out and give it a fresh start and that all starts with a nice fresh coat of paint. So I'm Linus. I met Justin through my buddy Alex, who works on Dangerfield with Justin. I used to shoot with Alex for his photo campaigns for each season. Um, now I'm just a freelance photographer and I work at the bank during the day. Um, as you can see, my desk is pretty messy. I have this big old honking desk I got from garage sale for about 20 bucks two years ago. It's um, for my setup, I have my Huawei laptop I got two years ago and this old LG monitor from 2014. I play my PS4 in here just because there's not a lot of space outside my apartment as well, but um, it's kind of inconvenient because I only have one HDMI port back there, so I have to unplug and replug everything every time. So with this room, I'd like to turn it into an office space where I can also have my keyboard to kind of convert into a music studio. Right now it's a little harder because I don't have a lot of space with this big old bed too. It's gonna be a good experience and a good reason for me to, you know, redecorate, re renovate my room. It gives me a chance to even paint it. Probably gonna paint it like dark gray or something like that. So that bed's gonna be picked up in a few hours. I have someone from Facebook Marketplace come in at, what, 8 p.m. in two hours? And uh, it'll give me some space to free it up. Just put my keyboard in there, maybe put another bass and guitar in there as well. I like a cleaner desk, maybe something with some cabinets or whatever so I can store more things instead of having it, you know, strewn all over a vest hung up on the wall. It's not a good look right now, but you know, it'll do. So as always, the first step was to empty out the room, clean it up a bit and move some of the stuff out that we didn't need anymore, including the bed and the shelf. So once we have a clean slate to work with, it was time to figure out where the desk was going to go, how large it was going to be, as well as what we put on the wall. Even though the desk before was still a decent size, the bed definitely took up a lot of space and by moving that out, it also opened up the opportunity to do an L-shaped setup with another white Linman desk. So the paint that I decided to go with in this setup is called Grey from Benjamin Moore. Yes, that's literally the name. I had quite a bit of paint left over after painting the studio in the basement of my parents' house, so I thought we'd use that once again because I really liked the way that it looked. It has like a charcoal finish with few undertones, which is something that I like because previously the greys that I was using had a bit of a blue hue. In some scenarios it definitely looks darker than others, but it doesn't give off like a black look. As you can tell the edges were a little bit rough, but now it's time to move in the first set of the desk and that is the Alex drawers. I had about four of these left over from my old office, so I thought it was a good time to reuse them in these setup makeovers. And because the nearest Ikea was out of the white ones, I decided to wrap these in a 3M vinyl wrap and it actually turned out pretty nicely. It took just about 40 square feet to wrap this up and I picked up the vinyl wrap for about a dollar a square foot. The reason why I like the Alex line a lot is because it puts a desk at a nice height and gives you 10 drawers to store all the things that would have been on the shelf before. The next thing to move in was the tabletop and that is the Ikea Carlby which I used previously but in a darker tone and this is actually meant to be a kitchen countertop so you know it's going to be durable. 
The wood veneer gives off a nice impression of real wood and you also have the option to chop it off because it includes an end piece. So in this situation the desk is about 64 inches which I feel like is a pretty good length. Another combination that we did in a previous desk setup tour was a set of dark Alex drawers with a dark walnut finish for the top. The Carlby top is definitely more expensive than something like a lemon, but if you're spending a lot of time on your desk and want a bit of personality to it and have it last longer, then I definitely recommend it. Some of the other pieces that we also picked up in this setup was a pegboard to have some batteries, a great text board, and of course cable management for the bottom of the desk. The pegboard was something that I wanted to put in previous setups, but unfortunately you have to have enough space to be able to put that on the wall. The main pieces of tech for this setup though are the Kanto U2s which are small but also powerful, look great on the desk, as well as the new LG QHD monitor, the Ergo Line 27QN880. What's great about this monitor is that it is very high quality, great for artists, photographers, and even a bit of gaming, but the ergonomic side of it is something that I personally really enjoy. You have a few different ways to set this up, but the way we decided to go with is just to clamp it on the desk, it is extremely sturdy, and have it set up so that the arm is on the right side. That just keeps it out of the way and allows you to put stuff underneath the monitor in the middle section. We measured it out to ensure everything was centered and the power cables and everything kind of route through the center column to hide all the cables from plain sight. Setting up the next piece of tech, we have a pair of the Kanto U2 speakers, which are the smaller ones in their lineup that fit nicely on the desk. These speakers have a 3 inch driver as well as a 3 quarter inch silk dome tweeter as well as a class D amplifier and 100 watts of peak power. The reason why I've opted for this speaker many times though is because it comes in 9 different colors and finishes whether it is like a matte white, glossy white, black options, wood and even colors like blue. The lamp that I chose for the setup is actually one that comes in at a price of $5 and it is called the IKEA Svalet. The lamp that we chose also has like a perfect puck-like space for a Amazon Echo. As for the wireless charger, Linus actually didn't know that his phone had wireless charging capabilities, but this is the Belkin Boost Up. Once the desk was all set up and we had an idea for the height and monitor placement, it was time to mount the pegboards on the wall. The instructions and everything make it relatively simple, but if you're going to be putting anything heavy, ensure that you are lining it up with studs, and from there just go ahead and hook on the add-on accessories based on what you need. As for the pegboard, it actually matches the color of the paint very nicely and provides contrast from the black and white finish of the paintings. Once again, this mounts on very easily and if you don't want to drill holes in the wall, you can also use 3M command strips because of the weight of this mount. Once the Signum has been screwed on, we put the power bar underneath the desk and everything just kind of loops around there. For the keyboard, Linus did have a gaming keyboard that he still plans to use, but the one that I brought over is one from Keychron that really goes with kind of the grey look with a bit of contrast in the orange. The mouse of course, knowing my videos, is the Logitech MX Master 3. The laptop stand that we went with is the one from 12 South, and it is made for Mac, but his Matebook fit just fine. So this desk is pretty much complete, and the one main piece of tech that is the backbone of everything is the monitor, and this right here is the LG Ultrafine Ergo. It is a 27 inch Quad HD IPS display that is a good size for most people. Linus's old monitor was a 24 inch 1080p display so having a 2560 by 1440 resolution at 27 inches made him feel like he had a lot more space. Because he is a photo editor and working on photos for a brand that I co-own, having good display quality is also very important. The screen is HDR10, has sRGB coverage of 99% and 350 nits of brightness and it is also calibrated and includes a calibration card from the manufacturer. It also connects via USB Type-C with power delivery, it has like stereo speakers that are built in. But I think most of all, it is just a nice productivity monitor and if you work in like an office setting and want to be able to show people different things, rotate it very easily, then this is the best choice to go with in terms of something that is built in. I think it just looks very clean and in an apartment setting, it keeps the monitor very close to the wall to maximize space. But let's just go ahead and roll the b-roll and let you take a look at this completed setup.
In the setup, Linus also has a PS4, and we were going to mount it on the side of the IKEA Alex, but unfortunately they were back ordered. If you plan to do any PC gaming, this monitor also has Radeon FreeSync, a dedicated game mode, and a dynamic action sync option. I would say that its biggest strength though is for productivity, photographers, and people who need great color and flexibility. So at the end of the day, I think this is one of my favorite setups today, and I know I say this about a lot of them, but I try to make them better each time, and I think one of the biggest changes to this one that made it even better was that I actually put some stuff on the wall this time. I've always been very hesitant because I like things symmetrical, but I think in this case, having a few different sizes to offset everything really added more dimension to the space. All the things on the wall are from Ikea, including the images that were like pre-installed, so they're relatively affordable, and especially with picture frames where you can go very high in price, I think these were like 10 bucks. This experience has definitely given me more ideas for my future setup because I think these setups that we're putting together for setup makeover are better than the ones that I have right now. The pegboard is definitely a bit different, but it ties together with the desktop, and my only worry with the pegboard is that it can get very messy as you start to add things to it. This Keychron keyboard does have cherry switches just like a gaming computer would and I would say it is more of a productivity keyboard and although the ergonomics are not the best, it is still an excellent one to use and Because I love at. Formula 1 and so does Linus, we had to add a bit of a poster and play some videos to tie that all together. So I've got this new setup over here and I love it. The new monitor is fantastic. I love being able to pull it out a little forward and it helps when I edit photos or play games so I can bring it really close to my face if I really want to see the smaller details. Um, having the nicer screen is also nice because I've started to try to write music and having the big screen really helps with seeing everything all at once. Um, I love how much cleaner it is. There's a lot less cables and a lot less you know, janky tape everywhere so it makes my setup you know, easier on the eyes, feels less cluttered and honestly it's so other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you drop a like and have post notifications on. Follow us over on social media. I've got the links to everything down below. And I'll see you all in the next video.